A just society works to make sure everyone is free from the threat of abuse at every stage of life. To live up to our ideal of justice for all, we need to work to address the social issue of elder abuse. It's important to understand what creates the risk of experiencing abuse or neglect as we age. A strong and just society is like a structure, supported by many beams. We need strong beams that are frequently maintained. You can think of these beams as the policies and programs that reinforce the relationships and resources needed for health, happiness, and safety. When those support beams are missing or not maintained, the structure is weaker and may not meet our expectations that people are able to live free from maltreatment. The first and most important step to prevent elder abuse is to reduce social isolation. George, age 77, reminds us why this is important. George spends most of his time at home alone since his wife died. His daughter lives too far away to visit regularly, and his neighborhood lacks reliable public transit and many age-friendly civic spaces. Fewer social interactions mean fewer opportunities for walking, talking, and laughing. And with these normal, healthy experiences missing, George's physical, cognitive, and emotional health have gotten worse. His daughter does not know what she can do or where she can turn for help. Without the structure of support, it's easy to see how if George encountered an unsafe situation, the problem might go unnoticed. George's story of social isolation is not uncommon. With millions of our fellow Americans living in similar situations, it's fair to say that our nation's social structure needs repair. Just as one beam alone can't support a building, individuals and family members alone can't single-handedly manage the problem of social isolation and the corresponding risk of maltreatment. The good news is that there are many ways to strengthen our social supports through policies, services, and programs that keep us integrated in our communities as we age. We can design and equip community centers to work as intergenerational spaces that allow older people to build relationships and participate in the work, play, and life of our neighborhoods. We can think about the role of transportation and reducing social isolation and adjust systems so that we can all continue to move throughout our communities as we age. We can figure out new and better ways to arrange and coordinate the teams, agencies, and programs that specifically work with older people. We can develop programs to educate families and professionals who work with older adults to understand the importance of preventing isolation, how to spot the warning signs of maltreatment, and what to do to address abuse or neglect. By doing all we can to strengthen the social support structure, we can reduce social isolation, protect communities and families against elder abuse, and build a nation that lives up to our promise of justice for all. Learn more and see how you can get involved in preventing elder abuse and promoting greater justice for older people at ncea.acl.gov.